Welcome to the category about grain transportation. Um, we do have a category winner from last season. I just didn't feel like digging out all the pieces of it. Here basically tells you everything. The grain, the container pack won for last season. Um, and it had some comp it had not much competition actually. I was gonna say it had some competition. No, it didn't. It didn't have nothing for competition. Um, we've got a bunch of little things. A lot of it came as parts of packs, and that's, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, look, we got this this garden power thing here. Um, yeah, no, not not really useful as a grain transport. I don't know what you would envision using that as. Uh, the same goes for the this, the John Deere. Don't really know what you'd envision using that for. Uh, this, ooh, this thing here... Um, it, its name is all screwed up that the there's no thumbnail picture for it it's just it's yeah no um this thing well you just saw the biggest problem Woo, i can walk through it doo, doo, doo. oh i can't walk all the way through it just most of the way through it um this is supposed to be a grain transport trailer seriously it's what yeah not even well modeled and and hooking up is just a disaster. I mean, the reason you can clip through is so that you can hook up to the stinking thing. The dirty self tipper. Okay, this is a mod conflict. I did I did complain about it in the mod spotlight that featured the dirty self tipper. Um, wow, I can I can see into I can see into another dimension. Dun dun dun. Ooh. Anyway. Um, but it, it is a conflict. The problem with Chrome overall is it conflicts like nobody's business. Um, so unless unless your mods are completely clean and crystal clear, you end up with this stuff. Um, does the Dirty South Tipper work as a trailer? Yeah, it works as a trailer. Is it as good as um, the in-game one? No, not really. Is the container pack really as good as the in-game one? That's debatable. Um, at one point, I took containers out to every single field, and then I just harvest a field, dump it in a container, and then when it filled out, I'd go and um, uh, I'd go and pick up the container and drive it back to the farm, and that was great. It was a great use. Um, the Dirty South doesn't really add much. Uh, Chrome always causes conflict problems. You have to be careful with it and it's a pain in the butt to fix. That's why I didn't bother to try to fix it for the spotlight show. And then we have this. This is a John Deere. Um, it comes with the small farm pack. It can't compete against any of the new stuff but when we think about old time stuff again it actually has a really great use. So in the old time category, I'm going to give it an award because it, I think it, it does a great job. The rest of these guys, um, no use. So I'm going to give it a mention. That gets a mention. This gets a dishonorable mention because it's, one, it kind of hovers. Two, it's shop image, it's shop image and everything is just a, an absolute total wreck. This gets a dishonorable mention because it looks derp. The Dirty South Tipper, I'm going to give it an honorable mention. It works. It does what it's supposed to do. It, it is a, a, a fifth wheel. It looks nice. It does work with the top kick. I don't like the top kick. We'll talk about that later. Um, but it's not enough to make it an award. So it gets an honorable mention. This gets an honorable mention because it's just a neat little piece of equipment um, and it gets an award in the old timey category. So there you go. There's grain transport. It wasn't nearly as nail biting as last season where uh, the container transport pulled out about come from behind win. It really had had this wrapped up uh, almost from the moment I bought all these and looked at them and went, oh, really? This is all that's here? So, yeah, uh, we'll be back with uh, another category. Now we're into the manure category. Um, this is the manure spreader category. Here is our winner from last season, part of the Abbey Manure Handling Pack. Um, it is the solid handler, uh, animated door, animated device spinning around there to fling poop out. Relatively small capacity, certainly smaller than what you get in game, but it won because it was part of a larger pack of coolness. And yeah, that's pretty much why. 
Uh, we really have one contestant, and that's this John Deere. I brought this one out because this one came with the old time pack from Giant. And I wanted to discuss um, the, the difference, really, and kind of some of my philosophy here. The, the John Deere is going to win the old time category, hands down. Um, it is actually going to be an honorable mention overall. And, and the reason really is because everything on the sucker is animated. The little chain down there, down there, animated. That, animated. That, animated. The bottom, animated. It's animated. Everywhere you look, you see things moving on it. This one, that's animated. But my question is, how does it get power? really now I have a separate drive shaft in here it looks like I I mean I do it's it's right down there There's, it's, it's the engine right there um, the engine is in there but that doesn't feel right to me I, I know it probably is but this one just looks so much nicer so much neater um, it gets an honorable mention um, this maintains its status which is um, the winner uh, from last season. It maintains its status. You know, it, it stacked up against the in-game stuff. It's not big enough, but it's animated, extra animated, and I like that. Um, so this one gets outright award for the old-timey category and an honorable mention uh, here in the manure spreader. That one doesn't count. It's from Giant. <laughs> We'll be back with the, um, oh, one of the other categories. I'll figure out which category. So I can't get any closer because the game has actually crashed. <laughs> A wonderful part about this. The Abbey Manure Handling Pack for uh, Liquid Manure was a champion from last season. And we had the Crassort Liquid Manure Transport device that was supposed to transport liquid manure. Um, I never could get the liquid manure to pump out. I never could figure out how to get that to work. Um, additionally, its log is just absolutely full of performance errors and other errors, which is actually probably why we're here in the crashed state. Um, notice the humans doing the moonwalk. Um, the Abbey Manure Handling Pack, without question, is going to maintain its status as the award winner. The Crest Sword is a do not bother it, it needs to be cleaned up. It needs to be gone through. It needs to be sorted before it, it's even moves up to a mention category. So there you go. Um, don't even bother with the craft sort. Go grab the Abbey pack or get the in-game stuff. Actually, the in-game stuff is wider spread than the Abbey and is probably a little bit better in that regard. So we're, we're going to go reboot the game and uh, yeah, try to find another category. Welcome to a category that last season did not have anything. Or if it had it, I didn't bother to keep it because it didn't actually win. It is a mowers category. And here in the mowers category, we actually have symmetry. We have two tractors that are actually also mowers. <laughs> the uh, Duez D25 and the F1. We have a bush hog and the John Deere 37, which is a tow behind, does not need a three point. We have a Ford 501 and a mulcher. They need three point. Now the John Deere, the Ford, and the Bush Hog came out of the small farm pack. The Mulcher came out of the garden pack. Well, those two were tractors. So let's start with our awarding of awards. Uh, I'm going to start with the Mulcher. The Mulcher, I'm giving it a mention. There's a few reasons. One, the shop art is terrible. Um, in other words, non-existent. Two, it's in the wrong category. It's in MISC. It doesn't take a rocket. It's not rocket surgery to put it in the right category. Um, it feels excessively small. Um, and it, there, there's nothing really to make it make me go, wow, I need this thing. Um, it's just a mulcher. No big deal. Don't care. Um, but it gets a mention because you might like it. Um... I'm not really sure how to consider these next ones. The John Deere, the Ford, and the Bush Hog all came in the same pack. They all act correct. They all make noises that are indicative of old-time farm equipment. Um, 
I like the action of the the John Deere because this this wire actually is detached in order for you to to drop it down and and I think that's neat. I like the fact that it's a pull behind the the Ford sort of the same thing. It's got a little actioning on it to lower it. I like that. Bush hog works like a bush hog does. It cuts stuff. <laughs> um, the Duez D25 and the F1, we're considering them here only as as um, mowers. We're not considering them as tractors. So as mowers, they both work fine. They both make noises of mowers. So this is really a tough category. These all work. That being said, I'm going to give an honorable mention. I think I'm just going to give an honorable mention to everybody here. Um, as a category, mower is a difficult category because you're you're faced up against the big crone mower in game. None of these can compete against that. Now, when we go to old time mowers. I really like the John Deere and the F1 because they feel similar to the one that comes from Giant. Well, not the F1, obviously, um, but it it's something that I can pull behind any tractor because it's got a simple pin hitch on it, uh, as long as I have a PTO, of course. Whereas with the Ford, I need a three-point hitch, um, which kind of knocks out stuff like the Farmall for whatever 400 series farm all from season one. So I'm going to give honorable mentions to everybody except for that mulcher. It gets a mention because I really could care less about it. It didn't pop or do anything amazing. Um, it also didn't not do anything. So uh, yeah, just honorable mention. Uh, no awards in this category. When we consider old timey stuff, I probably still just give them an honorable mention. So honorable mentions all around for mowers. They're interesting. I do like them. You might see them um, later somewhere, somehow, um, but not no awards. So let's go on to our next category. Welcome to a brand new mod category in this season, and it's one that's sure to reopen some, some animosity some people had towards me. I'm almost sure of it. Uh, this is the runabout category, and there is a bunch of stuff in here, and we're going to kind of go through each one of them. Uh, the first is the Dodge Ram from the American Eagle Modding Guys. We've got the Gator uh, 825i. We have the Mitsubishi. This was actually a four-pack. I only pulled out one of them because they're identical to each other. It's just four cars with different colors. This is a GMC top kick. We've got the Mercedes Unimog. We've got the Vario transport truck. We have the BMW M3, the Fiat 500, the Ford F350, the Mercedes Sprinter van. Over here is the Mercedes Sprinter van trailer. That is a pack. They just ended up in two different locations. We've got the Messerschmitt bubble car and we have the Mercedes Vario van quite the category quite the category and and a huge spectrum of quality in these mods actually we go from what is atrocious quality which really would be typified by this Verario van where you just can walk into it <laughs> yeah we yay um, that pretty much took the cake for the most annoying I, I think that was the point in that mod spotlight where I finally just lost my temper with these mods. Um, this one this one was annoying because you can't actually lock anything to it so it was silly and useless. Um, so let's um, let's address a couple things. First things first, the windows on this Dodge Ram. Uh, some people said, oh that doesn't happen to me. Well that's great, but it happened to me so there you go. Uh, there are ways to fix that. It does require editing the mod. I don't want to edit the mods. I can if I want to, but I want these mods to be the kind of mods that you can just drop into your mod folder, start up the game, buy it, and go. And not have to make any changes. And that's really what I look for in any of these mods. 
the other one, and that I guess didn't cause much controversy. This bugger caused a lot of controversy. It is, well, me and DOS actually had a conversation about this. It might not actually be floating, um, but it doesn't have a shadow. So it's either a vampire truck or it's it's just, well, it's crap. I mean, that that's just, meh. If it had a shadow, it might not look like it's floating. It looks like it's floating to me, so therefore it's floating. Again, if I can't drop it directly into my mods folder, buy it, and have it work right, um, it's not a good mod. And if it works on your computer, great. But your computer isn't my computer, so therefore it's going to be given an award or not based on my computer. You don't like it? I'm sorry, that's too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and deal with... Um, handing out awards. Um, let's start with the... Um, I'm actually going to start with... with. Uh, I'm just going to walk down the line here. The Ram. Let's start with the Ram. It's got a fuel drums on it, which is great. It does not have... It, it has a fifth wheel hitch. Um, I don't remember it actually working. I haven't used it since the spotlight because, well, you know, the windows yeah that pretty much tells the story right there um, I also don't like this camera thing that it has going on where you end up inside the cab when you're trying to look around <laughs> that just doesn't work for me so um, I'm actually gonna give this one a don't bother um, if the windows worked okay, maybe we could go back and talk also the, the the triple black color here really loses a lot for me because I can't see any detail and that's that's actually a trick a modder can use and I do know that you can use this as a trick if you color the thing black well people can't see the flaws so you know it's a, it's a way around it um, so yeah don't don't bother uh, the the John Deere thingamajiggy the 825i gator uh, overpriced bugger um, additionally it has a serious camera problem um, I'd have to go buy a, a shed or something or drive it into something and then I have to deal with the, the problem that causes. Drive into a shed or under any sort of cover and this thing freaks out and you end up with a camera embedded in the ground somewhere. And that's crap and I don't, that pretty much ruins this mod in my opinion. Yes, I do know there's another version out. I'm, I'm not in the habit of going and hunting down new versions of everything. Go grab the next version, see if it fixes the problem. But I'm going to give it a don't bother, because really, don't bother. Uh, the Mercedes. No, no, this isn't a Mercedes. It's a Mitsubishi. The Mitsubishi was okay. I mean, it. I liked some of the detail. The fact that they put a, a soda in there. They put some cans of um, things of soda in the back. There were problems with it. One of it is this walk-around problem where the back is actually longer than it really is. I, that always annoys me. Um, the front doesn't have that problem, which means they got it half right. It can't pull much in the way of anything. That hitch is derp. There, you, you wouldn't use a hitch like that on a vehicle like this, but it can't pull much of diddly. Yet, it's still, if you want a true runabout, this is a true runabout. It truly will literally just drive you from point A to point B. It will do it well without any serious problems with it don't flip it over or it wanders away but that's a different problem altogether not really the mod creator's fault so much as my fault for flipping over my vehicle um, so I'm gonna actually gonna just give it an honorable mention it works as a runabout it doesn't really work as a farm truck but if you just need something to get from point A to point B this isn't a bad vehicle so I'll give it a, an honorable mention this GMC top kick is going to get a hmm. You know, I've been giving I've been giving these guys don't bothers, and really what they deserve are dishonorable mentions. That's a dishonorable. This is a dishonorable. This one I will give it the same a dishonorable. Uh, don't bothers are really more reserved for absolute total game destroying disasters. So um, or just uber derp like that big bud from season one so let me re-amend these 
um, dishonorable mention for the Ram, dishonorable mention for the Gator, honorable mention for the Mitsubishi, dishonorable mention for the Top Kick. It doesn't have a shadow unless I get in it and then see that little spot right there. Hey, look, I have a shadow. That's silly. Additionally, there's no internal camera because they didn't bother to want to take the time to model the interior and put the camera inside. So it feels like a nice port from, uh, by nice, I mean, I don't mean nice. It feels like a port from 2011. So I'm um, not, not really feeling that. If they'd put a shadow on it and make sure it actually worked well, um, then we could talk. Um, additionally, I can walk into the engine bay. <laughs> so, uh, and, and I can walk into the, into the back just like I can with the other Dodge. I know why you can do that. It's to make hitches work. Don't do it. Don't do it. Make it a real vehicle or or don't bother. So dishonorable mention for the top kick. The Unimog. I'm going to skip the Unimog a minute because I just I want to get some of the other guff out of here. Um, this Mercedes Vario. This Mercedes Vario is also a dishonorable mention. Uh, again, you can't hook it. You can't lock anything to the deck. The deck doesn't move at all, and there is actually no interior at all. They blacked out the windows, so it looks sort of like a Lego vehicle. So, uh, dishonorable mention for that. The BMW M3, really nice interior-ish. All right, what am I stuck in? Which, which one of you two has me stuck now? Who knows? Um, I can walk into the trunk, but that's not, you know, terrible, terrible. What I don't like is the startup procedure for this thing. We're not done yet. Still not done. Now we're done. That's way too long of a startup procedure. I wouldn't sit there revving my BMW M3 if I needed to go somewhere. I'd jump in it and go. Additionally, um, you guys saw in the mod spotlight, I just jumped the thing like mile high, flipped it over in a turn. Um, BMWs don't handle like that. So um, I'm going to give that one a dishonorable mention as well. The Fiat. The Fiat doesn't have a heck of a lot wrong with it other than the fact I can't approach it from the back or the front or apparently angled sides um, they didn't they they left a large block an invisible block around it but it accelerates like a Fiat 500 sort of would expect to the interior is rubbish um, would love one with some decent interior and without the the invisible walls around it um, is that enough to give it a dishonorable mention? Mm. No, nah, well, I'll give it a mention. How about that? I'll give it a mention. It it doesn't have the, the silly behavior of the M3 on hills. Um, it just needs help. Um, okay, let's skip those ones for a minute. Let's go deal with this Vario van. Um, I think we can go ahead and say the Vario van is dishonorable mention because I can walk into its rear end here. Additionally, what's the point of it? I can't actually put anything in it. Um, and I would expect to be able to put something in it. I'd want to, to load this thing up. If I have a van, let me put some hay, ba hay bales. Yeah, hay bales, straw bales, uh, sheep wool, stuff into the, into the back of the van. Let me use the van. Otherwise, what's the point of the van? So therefore, dishonorable mention. Mercedes bubble car. Mercedes bubble car gets a mention because there's nothing super wrong with it. I don't see a point for having it on my farm, but it's not like terrible, terrible. I mean, yes, it it when you drive it, it's just hilarious, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, if you need a laugh, go get a Mercedes bubble car and drive it around your farm. It's funny. There's nothing terribly wrong with it, so I'm just gonna give it a mention. All right, so that leaves us with the, um, we, we know the trailer goes with the van. So that leaves us with the Unimog, the F-350, and the Mercedes van. Three very different vehicles that can perform three very different actions. The Mercedes van with its trailer can carry, I think there was an argument whether it was spray, spray liquid, fertilizer, or seed, whatever, it can carry some some stuff within it. It also has a fuel drum in it. And that's good because I can go out and service vehicles while they're out in the hinter reaches of, say, the Kansas map. However, 
that being said, it's not intuitive how to use it. Um, I struggled with the fertilizer spreader. I, I went and looked in the back of the, the trailer and I thought I saw fertilizers. So I went and tried to use a fertilizer spreader, couldn't figure out how to do it. I think it has a use. Is it a great vehicle? Not great. Is it terrible? No, it's not terrible at all. In fact, I'm going to give it an honorable mention because it can be used to haul stuff places because you can you could hook it up to say the utility trailer the cane low load trailer that that might bottom out the suspension you can hook that kind of stuff up to this and use it so I like that I'll give it an honorable mention the Unimog Unimog is an interesting study it has a three-point front hitch it has a three-point rear hitch it has a hitch a uh, hitch for hooking up trailers. It has a bed of its own for loading stuff into. I got into the wrong truck. Can I just, there we go. Um, the interior is, you know, low res, but it, it allows me to do things. It also has PTO takeoffs on it, which is great. I can, I can use it for all kinds of things on my farm. However, that being said, it feels kind of cheating <laughs> to be able to do that with my truck. This is not the latest and greatest. Someone said that there's a better one out there and, and maybe there is. But one of the things it doesn't have is it doesn't have a whole bunch of things going on with the truck. Once I start her up. Okay, she's up. There's no blinkers. There's no, there's no extras going on with this truck. And that's kind of sad. If it had all those extras, it would be a better vehicle. Um, it also has a, a relatively low bed capacity. That's fine with me, um, but it would be great to maybe have an interchangeable bed or something like that. Maybe if the mod author is watching, put an interchangeable bed of some sort on there. Even so, I'm going to give the, uh, the Mercedes Unimog an honorable mention. I think it does a good job it doesn't feel like a runabout. When I think about runabouts, I'm thinking about something that's going to take hay to my cows. I'm thinking about something that's going to, I'm going to drive to the market. Um, but I'm not thinking about something that can replace my tractors. I have tractors to do tractor work. So some of you might really love the Unimog because you can use it on equipment that requires a PTO or a three point hitch. I'm not such a big, you know, I don't think that's a huge selling point. I have tractors, lots of tractors actually, to do that. So I'm gonna give it an honorable mention. It does do a very good job. Y'all knew it. I, I, I don't know why I, I even pretend like you didn't. Um, the F-350 does get an award. It does a good job. It is, base, it is a basic runabout. Um, it is undersized. I know why it's undersized. It's undersized because the FSUK ruler. It should be, a 350 should, well, one, I don't know why it's crooked here. All right, there we go. One, it starts up relatively quickly. Well, let me park it up next to the Sprinter van here. It, it parked there, there, off. Okay, so it should, its bumper should be equal to, and if it, this one is a, I believe, I didn't notice it having a 4x4 marking, no, it's a 2x, so it should, its its bumper should be equal to the, the Mercedes, or the Mercedes needs to be shorter. Um, I happen to believe that the Super Duty needs to be taller, having stood next to a Super Duty and having driven a Super Duty. That being said, I understand why that has happened. I also understand why the fifth wheel doesn't actually work and the mod author understands why as well. So that is supposed to be changing. It's a good truck. It doesn't behave erratically. It reacts to weight on the back. When I hooked a, um, uh, I put the cane low load on the, on the back of this truck and then I put a um, case trailer, uh, case, trailer uh, case tractor 
on that trailer and the weight of the tractor on the trailer actually had the truck sit low on the rear which would have been correct I would have expected that to happen you can load stuff into the bed even with that fifth wheel there you can load stuff in there and lock it down you can yes I know I have to do that but I don't want to you can turn on a bed light you can drop your tailgate and that right there drop your tailgate and then back into your fifth wheel mod author if you're watching let me have an option to remove my tailgate that would work great too um, because well we always took our tailgate off if we were hauling um, the horse trailer anyway I think the F-350 does a great job it is a great runabout it works well it does everything I would expect a runabout to do and it to me mentally when I'm thinking about a farm I don't think about a Mercedes Sprinter van I don't think about a Unimog I think about a truck and if that Ram had worked well it would have been competing against this 350 it turned out the Ram wasn't great if the top kick had worked well it would have been competing against the 350 but in the end the 350 was the only one that I think really truly typifies a runabout on a farm so there we go an award for the 350 honorable mention for the Mercedes van and trailer honorable mention for the Unimog a did I give it an honorable mention I think I gave it an honorable mention or did I give it a mention I don't know uh, what did I give it see I should have written this stuff down bugger I'll come back to that one uh, <laughs> dishonorable mention to this thing uh, dishonorable mention to the top kick dishonorable mention to the gator dishonorable mention to the ram dishonorable mention to the vario van um, mention to the Messerschmitt because it's funny um, honorable yeah I give it an honorable honorable mention to the Mitsubishi because it actually serves sort of as a runabout um, though it needs some help uh, and a I don't remember it's gonna be a mention now a mention <laughs> to the Fiat because it you know it works as a car but really I don't see many farm farmers driving around in a Fiat if they're running huge fields like we do in Hagenstadt so there we go that is the runabout uh, category I look forward to more runabouts because well we need more runabouts I, I'm really looking forward to the mod authors next version of the 350 and I would really love to see the mod authors of the top kick and the and the Ram step up their game and compete against the 350 um, and I have not found a true Chevy mod or a Toyota mod uh, Toyota truck mod so those aren't there so there we go there's the runabout category and we'll be back with our next category